There she is cleaning the, uh, what do you call this thing? Cleaning the Can Am. This is, uh, you know, just cleaning it up. This is what we do. <laughs> We're bringing it to the car wash later. Yeah, I should actually hose it down. We have some guests in town, so we're just prepping the vehicle. There's, there's, uh, there's Where? our brother-in-law, Vish, and Nicole. We're just taking, hey, we're taking in the experience here. We had some <laughs> snow yesterday, as you'll see in the video. We're gonna take here, come over here. We're gonna take Nicole and Vish on a little tour. Yeah, we have some new characters on the show today. This is, <laughs> there's the biggest one right there. <laughs> So Thanks we're gonna go for a little yeah. bar. We're gonna go for a, 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 a tool. I don't know where they're gonna go, but I'll just capture the whole experience. Okay, vlogging. We're vlogging. Hey, Dana, I might oh, here. Here. Let you in on a little bit of the vlogging. That's a, a tube to feed the cows. So hopefully we don't need that anytime soon. I see a box ripped up there well, from the dogs. The and they'll be getting ready to go here in just a, a few minutes. We always like having guests at the farm because it gets a little, not boring, because there's always something to do, but we uh, we always like new personalities to come into the mix. So they don't come up to farms too much, living in New Jersey, so they get to experience farm life here and kind of take in the whole outdoor experience. So we get to, to kind of introduce them to this way of life so we're excited for that that's what we like to do so like I always say you know if, if you're in the area and you want to check out the farm maybe leave the city uh, we're happy to host you and happy to give you this uh, this farm experience so they're on the move I don't know where they're headed but I'm sure she'll have a few questions on how to operate this yeah yeah I don't pause it. This is all live. I have a question. We have a question here. So I put it in high? Well, if you want to go fast, you can put it in high. And then what's this? That's four by four. Do I need that? You don't need that right now. So what do I do? Press that. Actually, it's in two by two. Put it down. And then what's so this? If you'll go Rear? On, leave that. But leave if you're it? on mud, you, you'll stop it and put that and four this? by four up first. Yeah. Okay. And drop it into low. Okay. Oh, low? I'm in high right yeah, now. Well, you can keep, where are you going? I don't know yet. All right, well, if you're gonna go, you can keep it in high for now. This is one of my great fears, is uh, rookie drivers dropping the transmission or doing something on, on this thing. And then we have to figure out how to fix it. So anyway, we have a nice day here. This is the last day of the year, 2023, December. 31 2023 so if you're watching it today happy new year's eve if you're watching it tomorrow happy new year actually if you're watching it any day after today i guess happy new year make 2024 a good year we had a we had a busy year this year 2023 was a crazy crazy year um we added some amazing team members um amazing amount of new customers uh, we moved a lot of orders around this country and we're so proud of that and we're we're thrilled that we were able to have a great experience here that's our neighbor that likes to drive like a moron run you off the road while you have a utility vehicle going but someday people will learn to respect driving past farms and not go 90 miles an hour i say it almost on every episode because those of you that have farms, you appreciate that message. I know you do, but anyway, yeah. So this was a great year for us. It was a great year overall, and, and it, we were super busy. And uh, again, one of the, our favorite things is meeting new customers and introducing them to eating off of the farm and exposing them to off the farm uh, meats. So we're gonna take a walk over here to the uh, to where we raise our chickens and you can see that this uh this ground it's nice that it doesn't have snow on it right now but it, it took a beating this year between the turkeys and the chickens uh we raised about a thousand birds here so pretty cool 
And now uh, we're gonna be working with the USDA butcher, which is awesome too. Um, so we're gonna be upping our bird production to uh, at least 2,500 chickens next year. Probably go for about 200 to 250 turkeys. So we're gonna we're gonna test the heck out of this area, but we're also gonna have to find some uh, more ground to raise the chickens as well. So anyway, you can kind of see what's left over here, from feathers to you know all the chicken manure, and all this is gonna seep into the ground all winter here, and then come spring it'll all be sucked up hopefully. And all those nutrients will grow a flourishing chicken raising area. So we're pretty pumped about that. Uh, you know, one of the things about this being the last day of the year and next in the next 24 hours or less, actually, we turn over the leaf into a new year is it's a good time to think about what you want to do. I know for us, for the last month, we've been pedal to the metal still a bit shot but we had to take the time to think about what do we want to do what are we what are we looking to do next year and one of the things that we're going to have to do is um either build a pack house for packing all of our orders and our boxes or or purchase one um in the area uh, a little piece of commercial real estate a building to do that so that's what we're what we're looking into that's one of the goals next uh it's a little chilly out here so if i'm slow to pronounce things bear with me but the other thing we're gonna we're gonna do is we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get more land so we're gonna have to get more land like i've been saying so we're working on that we're also working with um you know partnering with with more farmers to help us raise the animals the way we want and under our terms and we have some um some amish folk that are interested in doing that uh for us with us and um you know raising grass-fed grass-finished beef so we uh we continue to see the demand uh rising for the product so we want to continue to uh you know to produce great great product so we're excited about that um i mentioned last year not last year last month it's the cold i'm telling you it's the cold that uh you know our chicken production season here is pretty um uh, it's pretty tight i actually just ordered our birds you know our first round of 375 chickens they're gonna arrive march 1st or 5th somewhere in there and uh those are the guinea hens so the fact that they're going to come March 1st, you know, we're going to try to get a jump start, but we're not going to get our first round of Freedom Ranger birds ready until, uh, I'd probably say March 1st, probably until like May, May 15th, I think we're, we'll have our first butchering date. So it's tough up here to raise chickens. It's our, probably our top selling product and we only get a few months to raise them. So we have to push as much production as possible in that, that period of time and get it to last the whole year. And that's sort of a, a pain in the neck and uh, one of those things, but we have to figure it out. So that's again, part of the goal structure is to see, uh, again, maybe we could get a piece of ground down south or maybe we can even uh, find more growers down south that could help us extend our chicken season so it's all these little things that we learn along the way and we make the adjustments but this time of year it's goal setting season <laughs> so we have to think about these things and what it is that we want to achieve and what it is we want to make possible and how we want to expand the farm for our for our customers and that's really what it's all about is how do you continue to provide um, farm fresh meats to your customers and that expanding customer base 
because there's nothing worse than having a customer come on the site. They're excited to make the change. They're excited to uh, start feeding their family off the farm. And then all of a sudden, there's no product availability. So, and, and for us, that goes against our mission. You know, our, our, our goal is to provide farm fresh meats, farm fresh eggs, and all that good stuff to customers. And if we can't do it, think about how frustrating and how discouraging that is for us. So we have to, when we sit and we, we set our goals for the year, we have to consider all these things because they're all important in building that brand and building Freedom Farms and, uh, you know, supplying Americans with great meat. That's what we want to do. We want to do it differently than, uh, you know, just these big production houses. We're not looking to be that. You know, we want to be uh, that trusted provider, that trusted source. So, you know, as we as we sit here and think about this next year and what we want to do, it's keeping that mission in first place and, and building accordingly and adapting accordingly and, and uh, you know, doing things from that, uh, from that mindset and that perspective first. So how do you continue to raise great animals, uh, continue to make people aware of how poor our food system is and how dangerous it's becoming, right? It's no longer like, oh, I just want to eat right, you know, so I could lose a couple pounds. That's not what that's about. We want to help people uh, change their life, change their their diet, change their ways, change their health, um, and change their family's health. Right? Our food system is a mess in this country. It's an absolute mess. So now we're, you're hearing the passion come out, right? You're hearing the excitement. This is really what I was getting to today. So so it's it's about goals, but it's more about helping people and helping families live better. We get, we, we get messages every week from people that are dealing with autoimmune issues and they're looking for good quality meats. Uh, people dealing with serious diseases, you know? And they're looking for food to be, uh, to be their medicine. And if we could provide that, I mean, that's great work. That's something we feel really good about. Um, so, that's why we do this, you know, to bring great quality meats to people and potentially save their lives. That's serious business as our food system is wiping us out. I mean, just look at how many people are sick. Just think about your inner circle and how many people you know that are sick for a variety of reasons. But food is the main reason. What you put in your mouth and what you put in your body will determine your health. And we can't shy away from this. We can't forget this because it is a truth. And food today is mass produced and it is probably in its worst state, uh, at least in my lifetime. I mean, the fact that we have the balls to say that raw milk is dangerous is crazy. Yet, so much of this other stuff goes unregulated. It's just, it's mind blowing. That raw milk is a problem. It's just, it's just wild. But man, folks, you gotta grab a hold of your food. You have to learn how to source food. Even to all the carnivores out there, carnivore diet and you know people are advocating meat it's not just about meat you got to know where that meat comes from not all meat is tr treated equal you know I went to a restaurant last night a very high-end one too for uh, a celebration I said you know what let me try this steak and it was like a $50 steak, by the way. But I wanted to try it because I wanted to, to experience what's out there in the market. 
This steak could not shine the shoes of our steak. It was disgusting. And I'm not just saying that. I had everyone at the table try it. And they felt the exact same way. Commercially raised, feedlot raised, Midwest, Black Angus beef. Horrible. Coloring, you know, totally different than ours. When you eat off the farms, and you don't have to eat off our farm, but when you eat off farms that are raising animals well and you're buying from your farmer, it is a great thing for local uh, agriculture to keep local farms going and to control your food supply. Okay, that's what this is about. We got to take back our food supply. We have to take control of our own sourcing. We have to take control of our health and we do that through the food. And this is your opportunity to do it. Man, this is an uphill climb here. Look at that. But in all seriousness, we got to start taking control of our food supply. We got to know what we put in our bodies. And when we do, and we can do that with greater frequency, you're gonna see your health change. Um, greater vitality, greater energy, just, you're gonna feel a hell of a lot better. So I wanted to put that out there. Um, the other thing we're doing here to kick off the new year, uh, we're launching a uh, seven, 14, and 21 day carnivore challenge where uh, we're going to teach you how to eat well and how to eat right you can sign up on the website under events and um, I'll put a link I'll probably post this tomorrow because I won't have the links ready yet but uh, you'll be able to do a carnivore challenge to flush your body out to detox uh, yourself from sugar and just get your cravings under control so you don't desire that crap food. But we'd love to have you join us for that carnivore challenge. It's gonna be a good one and it'll include meat. But ultimately guys and ladies and everybody, take control of your food supply. Look at these beautiful animals. They produce more and more beautiful animals. Look at how pregnant she is. Zero five four. I mean, this is this is as natural as it gets, folks. So you can take control of your food supply. We send meat around the country. You can buy it from the farm. If you want to buy a half cow, whole cow, full cow, whole pig, half pig, quarter pig, we'll get it right to you. So you have options. Again, it doesn't have to be with us. We prefer that it is, but if not. Um, you got options. So I just wanted to put that out there. Control your food supply. Make 2024 your healthiest year yet. Your year filled with vitality, energy, health. And be excited for what's to come. We'd love to hear some of your goals for 2024. And uh, put them in the comments. And anyway, thanks for hanging with us this year. We appreciate it. We love you guys. Um, follow us on uh, Instagram. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe here. And uh, thanks again for all the support. So anyway, happy new year. Have a great night. Have a great day. Have a great morning. Have a great life. And we'll see you in 2024. See ya.